Mr. Ponton, I believe you have a filter turned on in the video settings. Uh, you might want to uh, uh, take, take we're a trying look. To, we're tr can you hear me, Judge? I can hear you. I think it's a filter. It, in the it is, and I don't know how to remove it. I've got my assistant here. She's trying to, but uh, I'm prepared to go forward with it. That's, I'm here live. That's not, I'm not a cat. I can I can see that. Um, I think if you click the up, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode made with love, sweat, and as always, drenched in vanilla. That first clip had absolutely nothing to do with the topic at hand today, but I figured in a world awash with virtual meetings, we all needed to learn to loosen up a little. Now, I don't know how that court case ended, but I, for one, know that I hope that attorney at paw was able to finish his court case. Today I want to talk to you about Gorilla Glue Girl. Now, normally this is where I'd pop a video up, show you a little clip so you knew what I was talking about. It would look something like this. But since her or her manager has gone all copyright fraud happy with the DMCA system, where it basically lets them decide if it's copyright first by checking a little box, and I'd essentially have to sue them. Well, since I don't have the time or the money to care enough to be in the same state as this person, I decided to just delete the chunk out of the last video and move on with my life. If I had the money or time, I'd say F it and we'd roll with this lawsuit. No, I can't show you her stupidity. Mind you, there are questions about the validity of her claims and we will get to that. But since I can't show you her stupidity, I just need to say this. Jessica, I too know your pain. I once had hair, long, beautiful hair. Listen, listen, I gotta tell you guys, I know that this is a beauty channel and you guys all have beautiful long hair like me and so you just really wanna know how, how I deal with this. So, so the thing is like, I wanted to show you, but I usually use this like, this, uh, I thought this was gotta be glue spray, but this has gotta be stupid spray. Hold strong. It's strong, hold, gotta be stupid. Must be the same thing. But I usually use this gotta be stupid spray, um, but I couldn't find it. So uh, I went to the store and I found this this Gorilla Glue spray. Um, now it doesn't say I can't use it on my hair. So here's the thing. We uh, we got, we need wicked hold for this, right? So we're gonna just, we're just gonna, gonna go ahead and, uh, we're just gonna use a little bit. Of, we're gonna go. We're gonna go sparingly at first, okay? We just want to make sure we we just kind of like we gotta fold it over a little bit. So we'll just you just gotta make sure you really get it on there, you know? Strong hold. Maybe we'll just use more of it. One hour later. Okay, so guys, I've I've had this in my hair for a couple hours now. It's it's um smells a little like spray paint, and I'm concerned about the uh, spray paint spray paint esque sounds coming out of the container. I might have to sue them. This is bullshit. It doesn't say anywhere on this fucking product I can't use it in my hair. Fuck! Am I supposed to? Hi everybody, I just wanted to give you all an update. Uh, I've, I've come to the hospital here. Uh, I'm really hoping that they can help me with my Gorilla Glue hair. Um, wish, wish me luck everybody. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to start a GoFundMe for like $20,000 or something like that. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll make it for $1,500 and I won't stop it until I get enough to rent a Mercedes and go to LA. Uh, wish me luck, everybody. So now.
now I know you're asking yourself. You're saying, Mr. Beaver, Mr. Vanilla, if you will. Who on earth is this dumb? This has to be fake. And it could be. There are compelling arguments in that camp. But before we continue, I need to tell you, we have to keep teaching the children. If we don't keep teaching the children, we end up with this. Guys, my hair will not comb. <gasps> God, y'all, I'm on my way to the hospital right now. My scalp is burning. I need to go to the hospital so they can remove this Gorilla Glue. I have no idea what to do. I tried washing it. It doesn't come off. Um... Here I am. It's your name, Drew. I'm going to show y'all something. I got some Gorilla Glue right here. Super Glue Real. Why so? I'm going to take it, put it on this cup, put it in my mouth. Then I'm going to be licking and get it off. It's easy. Gorilla Glue garbage. I'm telling you now. We need to clear the air because you don't Why so? Crazy happening, um, put it on here. Farewell thing. You know what? I think. Hey. Hey. How are you? Hey. Then I'll put it on my mouth. I got you. So walk me through the steps of what you did. Tell me what you do in the uh, video with the cup and the glue. Well, basically what I was doing was I was trying to show people that it wasn't as serious as she was making it to be, you know? Mm -hmm. So basically what I did was I uh, I trimmed the cup with, with some Gorilla Glue and placed it in my mouth for a few seconds, for, for a few minutes, in which I thought that I could lick it off, kind of, you know, to moisten it and pull it right off, but that didn't work. Though. Oh my God, this is a fantastic idea. There, there, there could be a new product in this. I was just... <sighs> From the brand that brought you Gorilla Glue Girl comes a new product. Do you live in a thermally challenged location? Will your sweaty ball sack swiftly stick to the inside of your own thigh? Is this Batman? For cold feet everywhere, we bring you Gorilla Glue Foot Foam. One hour later. Please respond to the Gorilla Glue factory at 55 in Archibald. We have reports of a male in his 30s with spray foam stuck to his feet and chemical burns. Yikes. Anyways, I know I had mentioned there were some questions as to the validity of her claims, and now I don't know much about styling hair, or at least... I don't anymore. Listen, listen, I gotta tell you guys, I know that this is a beauty channel and you guys all have beautiful long hair like me and so you just really want- But what I do know is the first thing I had wondered is how she would have ended up putting all that in her hair and slick it smooth without that white spackled look that my wig and lots of other people who experimented with this hair ended up looking like. Look, you try to comb through it, right?
You see it? Do you see it? Okay, let's try to continue to comb it through. I'm going to take some more, okay? Try to stay away from my edges right there. Don't this side. This side is a little bit more healthier than this side, so, you know. But still ain't dry yet. So you know the glue is on here, right? Y'all know the glue is on my hair, right? I got a whole comb. Well, it just fell off. We got a whole comb sitting on my head. What, what? Oh, okay. But look, you see this side? Still white. So as she sprayed the Gorilla Glue on her hair, has her hair black. When we clearly see, I sprayed mine and it's still white. Please tell me. Hi there. It still didn't penetrate down to the scalp. It still don't penetrate. You see that? It still don't penetrate down to the scalp. Okay, now this has been on my hair for an hour. So, if she was just, so that means she just kind of sprayed it like that, right? Okay, right? Gorilla glue all everywhere, everywhere. Y'all see that? Y'all see that, right? All right. I've had this in my hair for an hour. It's not turning black. It's staying white. Um, you can tell it's starting to get glued. Glued in there. And at this picture, one of the first things that occurred to me was her hair is way too clean to have Gorilla Glue in it. That's not how Gorilla Glue behaves. So I made a video. And boy, my comments were filled with people saying, Oh, you just don't understand black hair. You don't understand hairstyling. No, maybe not. But what I do understand is Gorilla Glue and how it behaves. And if this woman put Gorilla Glue in her hair first, there's no way she could have styled it that clean. And if she styled it and then put Gorilla Glue over the top of it, there's no way it would look that clean. Because that's not how Gorilla Glue looks. That's not how it works. New pictures like from TMZ prove that I am exactly right. This is what Gorilla Glue would look like if you put it in your hair. It becomes a gloopy, gloppy, matted mess. And then when they cut off the ponytail, guess what? It's not glued to her scalp. You can still see the hair that doesn't have any glue on it underneath the layer of Gorilla Glue down to the scalp it still don't penetrate you see that like icky it still feel real icky right that's all the hair that's all the hair that then came out okay and y'all watch me y'all watch me spray it ajax dishwashing liquid you see that right there stuck on grease easily dissolved some shit this right here and Don oh my god my husband all right let me come back on the screen to so debunk this woman is crazy see my receipts may not be valid enough for some of y'all who just don't like me anyways I don't give a um but her receipts are very much valid now it's funny that gorilla girl the gorilla glue girl flew out to LA and had a surgeon work on her and the paparazzi were there she had tubes up her nose, oxygen. Yeah. I told y'all her GoFundMe will get over 30 grand easily. I don't care about any of that. My issue is the bullshit and the way that people are sitting here trying to attack people like me and others who see through the nonsense. Nobody has to lie on this woman. What it is is she can't stand in her shit. So now she's deleting and backtracking and changing her story and trying to play victim. But y'all sit there and y'all co-sign that foolishness. It won't be co-signed on my channel. So any of her fans still trying to co-sign her shit, mods, make sure you get them the hell up out the room. Y'all go to her page and y'all go stand her and go worship her. Get out my damn comment section with the bullshit. All right, everybody. I think that's going to be it for me. Tessica or whoever your agent is, if you're watching this, that's for fraudulently claiming my video or my live stream. Now, I don't have the time to deal with your shenanigans, so I just neatly cut it out of there, but you're ridiculous. And this video probably wouldn't exist if you didn't do that. So next time, maybe kindly go F yourself before you go ahead and fraudulently claim people's content for my, you know, $2 of coffee money, come on.
She's got a half a million Twitter followers. Get a life. Just move on. She did something stupid. She's become famous from it. So what's your problem? Anyways, to everybody else out there watching, thank you very much for showing up. Give it a like if you haven't. Maybe think about subscribing, becoming a member, possibly a patron. And my merch line is subpar at the time of recording this, but I am working on some stuff right now. So maybe keep an eye on that Teespring. Anyways, have yourselves a good weekend, night, afternoon, day, uh, pfft, summer. I don't know what time you're watching this. See you later.